International Firefighters Day is a time where the world's community can recognize and honor the sacrifices that firefighters make to ensure that the communities and environments are as safe as possible. It is also a day in which current and past firefighters can be thanked for their contributions. So we went past the fire station today on Awolowa Road and my son said, Mommy, look, a fire station. It almost doesn't cross your mind, at least for me anyway, mm -hmm. that we have fire stations. Yeah. I, because I'm used to, in different places where fire stations are part of the, you know, you see them, you know, everywhere you go, you see fire stations. But here, it's like an odd thing. You see a fire station, then a fire oh, wow. station is empty. Maybe there are no engines. <laughs> and then, you know, you compare them to the, you know, Chicago fire or the shows you watch and you think, what should firefighters be like? Mm -hmm. um, but saying that, I think that we've also had some fire experiences here in Lagos where I've seen firefighters at work. So there are firefighters out there doing good work. So today we celebrate them. What have your experiences been? I don't know. I've not particularly <laughs> had any, <laughs> any experience with any, But I think that they're actually doing a very great job because mm. before, uh -huh. when I, I think so, for real. Because before, when there's a fire, or more before they get there, the fire devices. have finished. Absolutely. They have finished. I've never, stories, I've never there's seen, no petrol. Yeah, there's no petrol to move the vehicle or there's no water. It's always one silly story or the other. But in recent times when there has mm -hmm. been fire, and even if they get there, maybe towards the end of the fire shower, but at least they get there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have to give it to the emergency services I mean, in Lagos in particular, actually. They've actually be been fair. trying. Yeah. Well, they can do better. Yeah. I'm I'm never never like, I don't know what seen, you guys are talking I about. I really don't know. <laughs> because I've never seen firefighters at work. So mm -hmm. even in videos mm -hmm. where there are actually fire um, incidents happening. Mm -hmm. I've only seen people around trying to put out mm. the fire, but not actual, you know, most actual times, firefighters. Most times, those videos are taken in the beginning in the of beginning when those of, things happen. But even not, in the stories, not I don't, eventually. I don't see where people say, oh, this is not this They are trying. We're not saying that they are doing, they are doing it perfectly. You know? You're know, not talking so. about the, even the fire stations. Mm. I served in Abiyokuta, and on the way to my house, there's this mm -hmm. fire station. When I first saw it, I'm like, oh, so there's, there's a fire station here. <laughs> and I pass there every day. Mm -hmm. And guess what? Every day I pass there, I always look towards the fire station because I'm just marveled that yeah. there's actually a fire station there. Yeah. So I think sometimes I'm just looking to see, are there people there? Is there people there? Is there anything anybody, happening? I want to see a fire engine yes. or a fire truck. I, don't, I just see the truck. Most times it's for aesthetics. I just see it's the not, truck. It's I not mean, looking very dusty. Mm -mm. But I don't see people at the fire mm. station. So I'm just like, huh, do these people actually work? Is there anyone there? If there's a fire now, would this work? Until I remember when um, they showed, I don't know if it was a governor or somewhere, a minister, who was supposed to commission a fire station. Mm -hmm. And then when they got there, I think about five, um, five fire trucks. When they opened the fire trucks, they were actually dusty. <laughs> there was no extinguisher inside. They not the normal things that you would find. Yeah. He said, okay, open the tank. Let me see. There was no water inside. Oh so the question he asked them, I think even they were featuring live. And the guy said, wait. So if they call you for fire now, what would you do? What would you use? <laughs> <laughs> and he said, say, I gave you money. Yeah. You put said that these are actually new fire trucks. Those fire trucks, when you open them, the seats were dusty. Inside yeah. was dusty. We have several agencies in Nigeria mm. that are just there for, they're just there for being there. Yeah. Do you get, they are not particularly doing the work. But for Lagos State, I think that the no, firefighters I, I think I have actually been, Lagos State when actually been doing a great job. Okay, that's yeah. Regardless that's of how low, but I mean, well, something is happening. That you know. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. I hope they do more. Okay, so let's start with Jennifer. What did you find for us in the news? So Fina, hmm. The latest um, Big Brother Ninja reality show winner who won about 100 million naira said that the show is actually very toxic. And then when I posted it on the group, I said she should return the money now. <laughs> 100 million naira? I think you can give it back. Ah. But, but I think that I, I sort of, I mean, I don't watch the show, mm -hmm. but... The franchise itself, mm. um, this kind of brother. feedback is not really unusual. Mm. I think the producers need to create a, an entertaining show, so they may lean. I mean, I tried to see in the story if she gave any context to why she said she it, didn't. but she didn't. But, yeah. you know, you can sort of put two and two together. No, but Big Brother <laughs> is actually a very toxic show for real. You know, it's a social mm. experiment, Absolutely. and then they thrive on controversies a lot. Yep. So that's, that, that's what actually makes it very toxic, toxic yeah. do you get? Because if there's no controversy, there's no entertainment. Yeah. 
Do you get Absolutely. it? So it's, it's, it is indeed a very toxic show. And if you're not emotionally strong, you're always advised, actually, if you're not emotionally strong, don't bother going for the show mm -hmm. because people will throw you. There's going to be a lot of backlash from the things you did not say to the things you actually said, even when people, I mean, obviously misunderstood your words and all mm -hmm. that. So it, it's really a toxic show. I think yeah. I saw one of the, I, I don't know if it was the past, um, but I think it was Beauty mm -hmm. also who had said that. The strategy she wanted to take into the house, by the time she got into the house, she had to change it because she had yeah. to change herself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So basically, you're going in there and people are telling you, you have to put on a show. You have to do it's something. And that's why she was very toxic. Mm. In the house. She was always fighting for the smallest and tiniest things that actually did not make any sense. But she had to put on a show. And even the audience are also very toxic. Absolutely. So it's like, it's everybody. So I think the show needs to take a rest. You can no, take no, it. Take a break. Money entertaining. <laughs> yeah. Making money. Yeah. Take it. Right. Because they're making a lot of money I for it. To give away 100 million in price. You don't think they need to re-strategize or something? No, no, no. That's, that's, actually, what? that's actually what they that's are what selling. That's what the show is about. Yeah, that's what they are selling. <laughs> I, had, so I, stopped watching, ready, I stopped watching it about yeah. two, three years ago. No, if you're not yeah. ready, don't go into it because it really is a game actually yeah. so you need to you can't go into a game where there are several other people contesting and you don't have strategies and most times in this game the villains win maybe not win but the villains go far they yeah. go far exactly. Do you get? exactly so you need to you need they to... have to keep them on board to mm. make it engaging yeah. but so. yeah dami what did you find for us okay so what i found for us in the news today is something very similar to what we'll be discussing anyway um so a yet to be identified nigerian police woman has distributed new pairs of socks to students who do not have them in lagos I mean, I think this is a very good act, considering that we're talking about security, you know, mm -hmm. police and non-police. And well, you know, when we're talking about when we're talking bad about people, I mean, there's a good part that we should not leave out. So I would believe that this is this woman is one of the good Nigerian police officers or people shall in this country. Because I mean, no, no, I mean, normal Nigerian police people, they you not see them give, giving out socks. Mm. What's their business if you don't have socks? Yeah. But I mean, this this woman's act could be from a place of being a mom, being a mother. Mm -hmm. yeah. It could be from a place of normal, just basic human decency. But yeah. what she did is actually very good. There's also one woman's video that I always see online. I don't know if she's the same person. Yeah. But this woman, when she she um, crosses the children, so they have to literally pass beside her. And when she sees any one of them that is not properly tidy. You know, she like tries to tidy them up, mm -hmm. dress properly. I think I've heard of that. Uh, hey, I, don't yeah. the same I don't know if it's the same person as well, but you know, things like that actually go a long way because for various reasons, some people probably don't even have parents at home. They don't mm -hmm. stay with their parents. And in this society, I don't know if it's just a Yoruba thing, yeah, but there's there's just this thing that you're not the only parent of a child. Yeah, yeah. 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 is it exactly yeah. we're just yeah. all together. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So I think that it's a very great act. And yeah, kudos to her. That's well good. done to you for finding a positive story about the police, police. today. Right? <laughs> <laughs> um, so very quickly, so my story says Lagos government shuts another popular grocery store over expired products. Now, we talked about the civil service a couple of days ago, and I mean, there's just a lot of agencies and all. So this story says that um, on Wednesday, the Lagos state government shut down a popular store called Chimizi Store, um, located mm. at 19 Ogundana Street in, um, off Allen um, Avenue in Ikeja. For allegedly selling expired goods to members of the public, it gathered the store was sealed during a sting operation. Mm. Now, I mean, why this story stood out for me, um, because this was done by the Lagos State Consumer Protection Agency, Las Copa. Um, it was interesting. I mean, not enough backstory here. But the first thing that came to my mind was, oh, great, somebody's checking. But the second thing that came to my mind is, see, when you have so many small, we live in a country full of private sector businesses, SMEs, and all. And I, I, I wonder what kind of quality checks. Because if mm -hmm. you go to most supermarkets in Nigeria, we like the small space. Mm -hmm. We cram all these mm -hmm. things in there, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, so my point is, what processes do these kind of stores have to check? The guy may not even know that it's expired because yeah. none of his staff have gone to check. Mm -hmm. They just bring new stock. They push the this things to the back. Yeah. They put it in front. Um, things are certainly improved. I mean, I remember maybe back in 80s, 90s, we used to deal with a lot of fake products. I mean, people like NAFTA have, have changed a lot of things, SON. But these kinds of things, in my mind, I think is it an honest mistake. But certainly when you then have an organization like this that is checking, the onus is on every single um, store, supermarket, anybody that is selling goods that can expire to certainly be out and checking because they're checking for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, I think we should take a break now and when we come back, we'll jump right into the discussion for today. Please stay with us.